thanks for being here. I asked for you because I, I, I've known about you and I've heard amazing things about you. I watched your documentary and you're one of the most inspirational people that, that I think I've ever been aware of. So I wanted you here because um, there are a lot of people that are going through a lot of tough times right now. And uh, so I want you to, if you can, I know it's a long story, but in, a, in a, a short way, tell people how you got from living in your car with $700 to getting out of that situation and where you are. Certainly. A uh, dear friend of mine, John Capra, was a headhunter and called me one day and said, JP, in the beauty industry, there's a great job for you. It doesn't pay a lot of money, but you could really go up fast. I said, great, let's give it a shot. Beauty industry sounds good. So I joined this company, and he was right. In about a year and a half, I became their national manager of two divisions. Anyways, as time went on, a very dear good friend of mine, Paul Mitchell, a hairdresser, uh, said, JP, I've got some great ideas for products, but I don't know how to make them or how to market them. I said, I know how. I'm in the industry. Let's start a business together. But we needed half a million dollars, so we were all set. So came the day of execution. My uh, relationship was going very well at all, so I left my wife and daughter with the best car, all the money, took the second car down the block with a couple hundred bucks in my pocket. So I lived in my car, <laughs> sold products out of the back of my car, convinced people to give me 30 days credit, and went door to door down Ventura Boulevard in Los Angeles, beauty salon to beauty salon, knocking on doors, and it was difficult. Uh, after two years, we knew we were successful. And the reason we knew we were successful after two years was we paid our bills on time. We didn't pay them off, but we paid them on time, right? So, yeah. whoa. And then we had $2,000 each left. We thought, oh my God, there is a God America really works. And uh, today we are the largest privately owned salon hair care company in the world, but we're full of peace, love, and happiness. And that's one of the reasons why. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So, so what I love about you is you're extremely successful, but everything you do is somehow helping a charity, and it's really important to you, and I yes. want you to explain to everybody why it's so important that you give to so many different charities. Very good question. When I was a little child, we had no money. It was here in L.A. growing up in Echo Park, my mother, my brother, and I. In 1951, I'm six years old, and my mom takes us to downtown L.A. on a little trolley car. We had trolley cars in those days. And my mom gave my brother and I a dime and said, boys, hold half of this each and go give it to the man that's ringing that bell with the bucket. So we did and came back to mom and said, mom, uh, you know, like that's two soda pops. It was two Coca-Colas in those days or three candy bars. Why are we giving this guy this dime? And mom said to us, boys, that's the Salvation Army. There are people that have no food and no place to live and they help out. We don't have a lot of money, but we could afford a dime this year. We always want to do something for those that are less fortunate than we are. And it stuck with me and I never forgot. And as time goes on, yeah, you don't forget these things. So as we, do, as we became more successful, I always volunteered for doing things in my life. And then when success happened in the United States, and the United States still does work, believe me, forget what the news says, a USA still does work, okay? That I was able to give back financially as well as show up. And my feeling is this, that we're here on the planet Earth, we come with nothing. If you give to somebody else, it's like paying a little bit of rent, but you give to somebody else and ask absolutely nothing in return, it's the greatest high you will ever get in your life. It's fantastic. And that's so, why we do it. <laughs> you, have, you have a new show coming out called Success uh, of Unusual People. Yes. And, uh, and tell everybody what that is. You bet. It's what the world needs today. You turn on television, they have your choice of what you want to watch. Well, why not something positive that influences people? So it'll be different stories of people that you would have never thought ever had a chance for success. Whether they come from poverty or really bad things happening in their life, like myself and many others do, or challenges, right? They somehow overcame it. They're unusual people and became extremely be successful, many financially and some just successful in what they did in life. Well, during the show, it shows everybody how they did it. It's a lesson in life. And that's what we want to show in every single episode of the very end. So something to do in between shows. They could practice it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. You can look out where you can watch success of unusual people. We'll be right back. <laughs>